Hi, this is Stefano from Lab School. My motto is less chat and more action. That's why we start straight away with the tutorial. I'm gonna convert this picture in a vector. So I select the picture first of all, and then I go here on the option bar on top. It says slide trace. I do not click this button, but I click the little arrow beside. The little arrow gives access to the entire list of presets, and all the way at the end it says tracing options. It is the one that I want to click. Once I click it, it opens a window, and in this window we have the entire list of presets as well as all the controllers. So we can change the preset and see how it looks like. So we can turn on the preview. There you go, this is a color 16. And we have, for example, this one is a comic art. We have a uh, lettering. Yeah, in this case, I think I'm gonna settle for color 16. Here we go, I'm gonna change some uh, of the values. For example, I'm gonna make a the number of colors slightly higher, for example, 22. And also we move on the right hand side of this window where we have path fitting, minimum area and corner angle. Path fitting, decide uh, how smooth is gonna be your path. Uh, minimum area, define how small will be the smallest path in the uh, artwork. So the bigger is this area, the less detail you will see. Uh, so a little bit more path uh, fitting in this case to round a little bit the edges. And the last one is the corner angle, also works in the uh, direction of the uh, path, how the path is angled. Uh, now that we are done with this part, I'm gonna press uh, trace, and now my picture became uh, um, overlaid with a vector design. It's not done yet. What I need to do is to expand uh, each path into an independent path. So I'm gonna click expand on the option bar on top, there you go. Now each path is an individual one. I want to recolor the artwork, but I want to do it in a sort of dynamic way. So I select all, and then I click this little icon on top that says recolor artwork. I click the recolor artwork, and it opens another window. This window has the list of all the colors in this artwork. The only thing that is not very clear at first is that now we are in the assign panel whereas we have to move towards the edit panel. In the edit panel, what we can do, we can change these colors one by one. Just have to locate and find it. There are three views you can use, and you can see the three of them at the bottom here, the bottom left. One view is lines, the other view is the color wheel with the steps, and the other one is color wheels without the steps. I find particularly beneficial the color bars, that's why I select my color bar here and I choose the color bar that match the skin tone. In this case, it's this one. I'm gonna change the um, brightness of the skin tone and make it a little bit more uh, yellowish. There you go. I can also change the shadow. In this case, I will do the same adjustment, a little bit brighter and a little bit more yellowish. Same for the other brown, a little bit brighter, a little bit more saturated, and a little bit more uh, yellowish. This gets a bit too much. There you go. Once I'm happy with the result, I can just save and commit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can carry on uh, watching our tutorials on uh, YouTube. Our channel is Vox Lab School of Visual Arts, S-O-V-A, or on our website, lab.edu.es. Thanks for watching.